take us uh, through the few days leading up to the Derby. How many times are you on the phone with Mr. Zayat? How many times are you on the phone with Mr. Baffert, Mr. Baffert talking strategy, discussing how the race could play out? How many different scenarios were you guys talking about leading up to the Derby? Tell us about those few days leading into Saturday. Well, I, you know what? I left that up to them, you know. That <laughs> Baffert and Zayat, I think they go back and forth. And, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm out of here. I don't, I, I just don't want to think about it. You guys, you know, you know, deal with that and, <laughs> yeah. and, and let me know before the race. Um, yeah, the only time we really talk about the race, that was uh, in the draw a little bit, Buffer, I told, we talked Bob that I was just great. That's what I won. I feel like the 18, that was, that was, I feel, I had a feeling that it was the lucky number, 18, <laughs> you know? I don't know that it was way out, but, you know, to me, I was just, doesn't matter. American Pharaoh, he will can take it. But I feel more comfortable to be outside. And um, and I know the night, the day before, uh, Buffer, I rode one filly for him. He ran second, and um, she ran great. She she grabbed herself, and she was you know you know lame after the race. She she can't even walk. Buffer texted me. She said, "Poor thing, you know." And she still ran great anyway. So that time, she he told me, "He's like, you know what? I think we should send it." You know, American Pharaoh, just send out of there and just go. You know, if they catch you, they catch you. You know, it's just go. It's like, all right, good idea then. And that happens over the night, and apparently in the party again, <laughs> everything changed. <laughs> <laughs> so we talk about it, and when I got to the paddock, and, you know, obviously everybody was nervous in there, and and um, Syed, you know, he was just can't even talk. And I, I remember telling him, he's like, you know, just go up there in the grandstand and enjoy the show. Let me do all the work. Just have fun, enjoy the show, and and and, and you'll be okay. And so uh, you took all the pressure at that <laughs> point. Yeah, you I took did. it off everybody else. Uh, uh, yeah, I did. A lot to put fact. on your shoulders. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, I was in a bad spot, so you know I had to deal with that. But I, the only reason I take that because I have a lot of confidence in American Pharaoh. I know that he's going to run his big race, you know, and, and, but, and I was ready. I was ready for him, and I was ready for anything can happen. So I was just 100% ready and 100% confident in American Pharaoh that he's going to show up for me. Anytime I'm, I need him, he's going to be there. You know, whatever I'm going to put it in the race and whatever I need to do something with him, he's going to respond quick. And that's why I was taking a lot of that responsibility <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and a lot of decisions that I had to do with that during the race and, and, and it's not easy but um, after I was talking to Buffer you know and Bob he's like you know what now that I'm thinking about it you know just run your ride a race you know uh, you know if you know we have the best horse you know just do whatever you think is best and and we go from there if, you, if we win if we win and you just but I think is the best horse in the race. You and rode I, him like agree. he was the best horse in the race. And we saw that. I mean, he was a little bit wide, but you knew that you wanted to be out in the clear, it seemed like. And from what we could see, you had a perfect trip for what you wanted. Was there any point in the race where something didn't go to your way? Is there anything at all that happened that you thought you wish you could have changed along the route? Or did it just go perfectly? No, no, it went perfectly. I mean, uh, I was so much confidence that I was, I mean, I was in the post parade. I was like having fun, you know. I was like, man, that, I, I just want to enjoy it because, to me, I never thought they were gonna be in the favorite, back to back years. Mm -hmm. And and what is the odd that's gonna happen again? You know, I just now that I I'm there and then the, and then and had the best horse that I think I had the best horse, in the race. It's like I'm just having fun and enjoying myself, and um, and and during the race. It worked out just perfect, the way I want it. Um, even I know that I'm going to be a little bit wide in the turns, mm -hmm. but I was ready for it. Mm -hmm. And and I wanted to be wide, they'd be stuck in the traffic. And it would be stuck in traffic, and it would cost me the race of maybe in there. But right. being wide, you know, I might lose three or four lengths, you know, wide, mm -hmm. but I'm going to let American Pharaoh stretch his legs and run as hard as he can. Was there anything yesterday about his performance that surprised you at all? When, when you're getting to the wire and you realize that you're going to win the Kentucky Derby, is there anything that makes you look back and go, wow, that, that I can't believe that just happened? Was there anything surprising about his performance yesterday? Oh, yeah. When I nominate the other horse, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, when I put his head, like, when I pass him, just one head in front of him, it's like, wow. 
I just can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Just again, you know, there he goes. I was so proud of American Pharoah. You know, I had no idea how proud I was, you know. I was, let me tell you, there's the three times that I win the Kentucky Derby that I don't even have no one, just a little dirt in me. All three races. Yeah. I don't know how I, <laughs> let me tell you, I, I didn't even know how I did it. I went to those three races would I even plan, you know, how I gonna ride the, the how I wanna the, uh, ride the race. And then sometimes they work out for the best. Last question, Victor. You did say after the race that you had to ask him to run yesterday. It was the first time you really had to ask him. But it looked like he still had more left. The Preakness is in two weeks. Is there more left if you have to ask him again? Yes, I, I think this race it really set it up him, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, I really, you know, now that I ride him hard, now he's ready. Uh, because the last few races, the last couple of races actually, I never have a chance to let it run. You know, it's just it basically it was gallop and work for him. You know, I never really like had to ride him, and and to the Kentucky Derby, I kind of like ride him a little bit harder, actually harder in the last eight to the mound, and and it's the first time that I kind of rode him a little bit hard, and and for that I think it got him ready for the mm -hmm. for the Preakness. Hopefully, you said 18 was a lucky number. What number yes. are you hoping for? What post position are you hoping for in Baltimore? Another lucky number. <laughs> <laughs> Victor Espinosa, Victor, congratulations! Thank you. Thanks okay. for joining us, and good hey, luck moving forward. Thanks for having me.